uh, so if you don't know, uh, I, I've mentioned Lewis Rossman's videos a couple times, but, uh, and, and I've only recently started watching him. However, I was informed that he had posted on his Keepley Farms thread like years ago. And I, a, a bunch of times actually, and I never publicized this fact. I don't think I even verified his account or anything. Um, cause I didn't want him to catch flack. And years later, uh, Hector Martin, the guy that was responsible for publishing the false claim that, uh, Bew killed himself on Twitter. The guy who claimed that he sat on the phone and heard sad music and he just sat there for like an hour, like that bizarre story that was published in like a Google drive on Twitter, um, for an absolute bullshit story. Uh, he's having issue. He's taking shots at Lewis Rossman now because he had a forum account where he posted only in his own thread about things people were saying about him, um, and claiming that he's a Nazi. And I will read these tweets for you. Um, he, so someone mentions to him about Lewis Rossman, po posts a video to him, and then Hector Martin says Lewis Rossman is a Kiwi farmer and actively involved in credit and harassment campaigns there. The same people who drove a friend of mine to suicide. So forgive me if I don't have the slightest inclination to care a single iota about what he says. And then the guy says, whoa, he is. I'm trying to find anything, but there's nothing I can dredge up. That's fucked, if true, of course. And then he posts a link to his um, profile on Archive. He says, what did I just read? Thank you for pointing this out. Always felt that there was something off about Rossman, but I couldn't put my finger on it. It's called a internet gen generation intuition, I guess. Uh, his account is 100% 15 posts in his thread only talking about his lawsuit, which is relevant. I think this was years ago. This was like 2020 or some shit. Um, he says, I got tour literally to look at this guy's profile. He has 15 posts that all responses to his thread on the key off and about him. He does not at all look like an active member of the site and said, just someone who made an account to keep tabs on what people are saying about him and moving out or in his moving out. Cause, uh, he was moving out of New York state to get away from the bullshit he deals with there. He says, unless you have logs, I'm sorry, but your claim about Rossman being a harasser is bullshit. He says he literally credited in the harassment thread, which thread, the one I linked. Um, I'm looking at this as well. And I cannot see anything that looks like Rossman is a harasser, nor does his profile and Kiwi farms look the part. And then the guy, the first guy who actually linked the video comes back and says he re regularly had fun and friendly chats with Nazis at the camp but I did not see him rounding up Jews. So he good is not an exoneration. You seem to think it is. That was literally what we did after the war. We kept all the Nazis that didn't do war crimes and we put them back into government. In fact, we imported them a lot of them into the, the United States and we put them in NASA in operation paperclip. That is literally the exact criteria that the U S war crimes tribunal used when forming the new German government. I'm just saying, <laughs> Um, he says, sure, let's draw him in here. And Hector Martin, uh, the liar comes back and says, put out a video effectively baiting his audience and harassing a strict cat. A couple of days later, a Kiwi farms thread pops up and credits him regardless of his level of direct involvement in the Kiwi farms campaign. This ain't a good look. Um, so on and so forth. God, this guy is such an anal pain fucking retard. He's one of those guys that I'm slowly waiting to see bad things happen to. I know it's going to come or I'm going to see this guy, like, I don't know, lynched in Hong Kong or whatever. I think he's in Hong Kong. One day the communists will just round him up and I'll never hear from him again. I can only hope. Um, more ranting and shit. Oh, this guy, by the way, someone did some digging. Um, the string cat that he's talking about, uh, is uh, his video that he's referring to is about graphene OS string string cat is like a weirdo. who was an, like schizophrenic who had a total fucking meltdown and ended up leaving the graphene OS, um, like d director team. Uh, it says here, until Rossman removes his, he used the official graphene OS thing to like talk about Rossman and shit. So until Rossman removes his dishonest content and publishes a retraction, he's not welcome back in our community and no project members will be collaborating with him. He tried to cause a massive amount of harm to graphene OS out of spite because Daniel was privately upset with him. Uh, and so on. That's the, that's the, um, 
that's the gist with uh, the the Rossman stuff. Is that there was. Hold up! I got a inst I got a notification. Wow! Breaking breaking news. This is very strange. This is serendipitous, chat. This is an incredible conflux of real time events happening. As I've been discussing this, literally as I've been discussing this, guess who posted on the Kiwi Farms? As on, on, the, on the Darknet only website that is completely inaccessible from its original domain, somebody has had the gumption, the wherewithal, the technical skill and expertise to find his thread. Assuming that the thread will actually load. Hold up. We're having some tech issues because my site's a giant piece of shit that's strung together by string. <laughs> okay, here we go. I even feel bad showing this because I know that guy, that Richard Hector Merkins, and I have a meltdown. This is Lewis Rossman, who should uh, totally help me with my hosting, by the way. If he, if he actually is a base K farmer, <laughs> he should pull a string from here, too. Um, Mark asked the worst, is, but Hector, Harton, Hector Martin said he's complicit in the harassment against Daniel McKay. I wonder if Lewis will change his mind on Hector now. Lewis replies saying, I can respect someone's engineering capabilities and their contributions to the community, irrespective of what they say about me. I should do this in his voice. I have to get really comfy in my chair. I'm going to lounge back a bit, put my arm on the sides of my chair. Like, hey, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm going to be reading a post by Lewis Rossman. I'm going to try to imitate him a little bit. He has a very soft-spoken voice, despite being a big guy. I'll see if I can pull it off. Just because someone says something bad about me doesn't mean I'm going to shit on their skill set or their accomplishments. I can apply. I can't apply a different standard to Hector than I would apply want applied about me. His opinion of me as a person doesn't change my respect for his engineering chops or accomplishments. But and I do mean it when I say that the repair community would benefit from having engineers of that level be a part of the conversation. No movement moves beyond the ego of its leader. And a little and as little, <laughs> the issue with me trying to read things in a nice, smooth, uh, very polite way that he reads is I am. Uh, an illiterate dyslexic and I can't actually read and as little as I would ever want to be the leader of any of this an algorithmic lottery chose me so here we are to discount what he would have to contribute to the conversation or people of his caliber have to contribute to the conversation because he doesn't like me would be an asinine on my part which is a very 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 fluffy way of just saying that just because I don't like him doesn't mean I don't want him to talk about right to repair which is important to him which is True. It's like when I talk about deplatforming and shit, just because I don't like certain people, even Nick Fuentes, it's like I don't think that he should not be allowed to talk about his issues with platforming and stuff. Uh, he says, I heard the site got shut down for harassing large YouTubers and figures, so I got curious and wondered if I have a thread here. I'm a large YouTuber, and what do you know? There was a thread on me. He called me crazy, but I had to figure it out for myself and figure it out there's a commentary going on about me while well, I'm an expert on me. I might as well be the one to answer questions rather than someone else. So here I am. I don't read the site. I'm 100% certain I have never read outside my own thread. I think it's funny, but also sad that that would get me labeled a Kiwi farmer. People are very quick to label nowadays. I am no one's guy but my own. It's fairly obvious upon the 22nd glance of my account that I have zero participation on this website outside of answering questions about myself and a thread dedicated to me that I can't delete anyway. He used that as a backhanded way to imply that I'm a part of a harassment campaign or to assign the negative pejorative attributes he has in mind for a Kiwi farmer to me based on that makes me sad. It's an obvious cheap shot and misrepresentation of who I am or what I was even doing here in the first place. By the way, I want to point this out for Mr. Hector Martin, because uh, I just remember this. You know, I remember Hector Martin was friends with this guy named Bew. And if I remember correctly... Bew joined the Kiwi Farms to answer a couple questions about himself for a few pages as well. In fact, I think he made way more than 15 posts on the Kiwi Farms. So this Bew guy, very suspicious. He's a Kiwi farmer, and Hector Martins is friends with this Kiwi farmer named Bew. Isn't that strange, chat? Isn't that really suspicious that Hector Martin is friends with a Kiwi farmer named Bew who posted on the Kiwi Farms in his own thread? Very strange. Very strange, chat that Hector Martin is friends with this Kiwi farmer named Bew who posted on the site. Very strange, now that I think about it. 
Uh, I've always been more open than most people who do YouTube content creation to candid discussions with viewers. I think it stems from the fact that I was yaks from the get-go. My store address was always public, and I was always sitting in front of them in the early days. So if someone had a question or comment on a YouTube video, they could literally walk in and speak in person to me for my first YouTube video. I did meetups in person where anyone could show up, where I'd talk to, drink, etc. with whoever showed up. I still do this from time to time. Some of the viewers are normal people. Some are genius engineers. Some are billionaires. Some are broke. Some are insane. That's me. I met up and talked with them in limited doses all the same. Here, I'm going to make a live post. You ready? I'll read it aloud so people listening can actually hear it. Don't say, don't feel too bad. Hector's not a friend who killed himself. We definitively proved it was a hoax. Also had a QB Farms account and posted in his thread. Hector Martin doesn't seem to call his friend a QB farmer, despite doing the doing. Let me put emphasis here, literally in italics, the exact same thing you have done. So his logical assets, I'll be diplomatic here, may not be all put together too tightly. There we go. Now that, that my friends, is a great Kiwi Farms post. Oh my god, it even went through. Bam! Bazinga. Meant to be. I think that have I ever have I ever posted on the Kiwi Farms before on stream? <laughs> I want to say that like there must be a time because I've been streaming for like three or four years now. Surely there's been a time where I've made a post on stream before, and uh, and actually live stream. I don't, I can't, I can't remember ever doing it though. I think I've done stuff like I've banned, I banned someone live. I've deleted a post or a thread live, I think, but I've never posted. Oh, I've shitted on people for using the site live. That's right. I think I did do that. That was a profile post, though. That's different than a real post. Damn, what a great post. Oh, my God. I'm getting so many likes on my post. I wonder if there are people watching this stream who then go into their account to see this post and then upload it. I see Slav Power, Latent Mysteries, Lieutenant Rashkak, and four others. Yes, my Reddit karma, boys. My Reddit karma going through the fucking roof. I did ban a guy. I don't, and I did do, leave a profile post saying how to use thumbnails, but I don't think I've ever made a post on the site before. I could be wrong though. Fire up a stream every time you post. <laughs> um, I can't do that. I don't think you would want to see the kind of revisions that my posts go through. You read how I post on the site and you see how fucking angry I go, how angry I sound like in passive as I talk about literally anything. You should see how I sound before I go back and edit things. Uh, I, I come across like a deranged person. <laughs> Anyways, next. Sorry, I was taking a nice sip of water. Um, This is also about Hector Martin. This was the next train of thought I was going to go to. Um, I've talked about this before, but very briefly, uh, Hector Martin is a VTuber. He has an alternative persona called Asahi Linux, which is a name, uh, I think it's named after a Japanese province, which would be very curious considering I don't know that there's any evidence that Hector Martin actually exists and Bu is living in Japan, but I know that there's a brand of um, precious metal producers called Asahi, and they make silver and gold bars that are popular with weeaboos. Um, even though they look like shit, they're like postmodernists. They're fucking like, gone. Let me just show you. We're, uh, we're going to have an impromptu silver bar segment real quick. Look at this soulless, gaudy fucking trash. Yeah, I would love I would love to have a collection of silver and gold that looks like the Mitsubishi logo. Uh, I want I want something that looks as as utterly bereft of any character um to make up the majority of my collection. Compare this to a uh 
something to produce in a oh i can't <laughs> okay i'll set that up for a jug hold up compare that to the coins that are produced in the united states which are full of character they're beautiful coins and then if you are of a particular persuasion you can actually get a mexican liberdad and the liberdad has booba on it now you have three uh, real you have two different extremely um prestigious well well trusted high quality mints that produce nice nice liberty liberty coins and booba coins or do you want the soulless soulless japanese coins and then the the weeaboos are like but it's made in japan bro it's based come on Come on. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you what silver I buy, chat. This is very important. This is an important lesson. This is a very a very important lesson. I buy Krugerands. And you might be wondering what the fuck is that? They're from South Africa. You might be thinking, Josh, why are you buying South African products and supporting the South African community as they murder white people? Well, chat, allow me to explain. For every Krugerrand that is taken out of the South African community, I deprive that community of precious metal assets, which will be the real money when society collapses. I've got a 50-year-old plan, 50-year plan to get revenge on the on, for the Boers in South Africa. So I must I I, dep I take their silver and they may they get my paper, but then chat, what do they what do they have when the bombs drop? They ain't got shit. They ain't got shit. They're gonna be trading in sticks and mud, chat. Because I'll I'll have all their silver. I'll have it. So that's what I'm up to. That's my base. That's my other racism segment. As I try to defend Lewis Rossman. <laughs> um. Okay. Anyways, ask the heat. Oh, sorry. Jump scare. I uh. I spoiled my limit. My uh. My next thing. Um. So uh, as he says here, Hector Martin and Asahi Lena. Um, which he calls his fork of uh, Linux Asahi Linux. So Asahi Linux is his VTuber persona. They both contribute on the same exact parts of his As Asahi Linux GitHub project. Um, and he's also presented at tech conferences in his VTuber character. Let's let's see. Hello. Wow. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, I'm Melissa. Is that the voice? Is that his falsetto that he does? Okay. Tasting the Forbidden Apple, Alyssa Rosen, Rosen Zweig, Rosen Zweig over here and Asahi Lena on the screen. This is hell. I want to show you. I did never click this before. What's on my screen right now is a window into hell. If you are, if you did not repent and find Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will be sent to a fiery pit where you have to pay. You have to sit with these people who are also in hell. Lena is here with me. Uh, okay, she's not physically here with me, but uh, good, good enough. Uh, everybody say hi to Lena. She can see you. Hello. Hello. Hi. You should all. This should all be sufficient proof that I'm not Lena, as people keep claiming. Um, I mean, I could have pre-recorded her, I suppose. No response to that. Yeah, that's fair. All right. And this. Oh yeah, I'm not Asahi Lena, and then Asahi Lena completely silent, still not saying anything. I want to hear them talk more. Once upon a time, there was um a very. Why is there no audio? We lost your audio. Scripts that let us interpret this magical language. These are scripts in parcel tongue. Something like Did you that. Hear this? And, uh, so, you hear this? Uh, with a lot of work, we can get uh, Tom Tech Bay, where we can run Mac OS and uh, see every render command and all the scripts. No, no, no. What do you want from me? Terms and pointers to structures and more structures that are involved. And this is super nice. And we can uh, slowly figure things out. Watching her streams is surreal. How can someone like this be productive for 10 to 12 hour stretches? It's called drugs and it's called mental illness, specifically autism. Truly amazing work by Lena. Reverse engineering is a work of art. Hmm, reverse engineering. You know, there's this guy that I knew who was a really talented at reverse engineering the extremely low level uh, components of the Nintendo 64 and other, other consoles that had proprietary hardware that you never see outside of game consoles. It's just uh, food for thought. Lena being amazing for 48 minutes. Mantap being, x please fix my issue. Sounds not great. 
Do not mind the comic character, but need better sound. <laughs> Where is this guy from? C KWC coin just to post the US Parliament debate in Hong Kong. So this guy is like from Hong Kong. He's watching this and thinking, hmm. Me no mind. Ho ho ho. I do not mind a cartoon character, but your audio is absolute shit. Maybe fix your voice synthesizer. Ho ho. <laughs> Lena, you're super cute. The incels tried so hard to front against women in STEM, but they became the women in STEM in order to stop real women from getting in. <laughs> Based. Lena is Paul. Cringe. Base. Okay. Um, sorry. I just want to play this moment of hell. Can I get another second of it? I just want to torture you guys a little bit more. The Mesa driver on owns that it'd be some most part on one pro so this machine. Is Alyssa, should... right? So this is like two different trainees talking to each other at once. You know, uh... Splinters, and those splinters are two structures that are themselves versioned, and so there's that little code one called infer tag, and that's a magic. Uh... That's very funny. There's like a comparison of the voices, by the way. Oh, um, and he's also having a tantrum with H Hacker News. They've uh, talked about how uh, Asahi is probably Mark Markan or whatever the fuck his name is. So he's blocking traffic from Hacker News and fucking with the CSS. So if someone links to his site, he's just such a petulant fucking man child. What an embarrassment. Okay, I want to see this uh, comparison between the audio. Okay, this is the original audio. Was a lie, then the yeah, it's probably just because this is optimized and it's very confused. Um, I, I guess the, the backtrace was a lie, then the yeah, it's probably just because this is optimized. You can't, you and can't get rid of that confused. accent. Um, That's the issue that you have, Hector. You you talk like a fucking wetback and you sound like one too. And even if you do a really Adios, mio, me gusta tacos and burritos. Even if you do a falsetto, you, you can't hide that accent. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to do some voice training, instead of trying to sound femme, maybe try to sound like you speak English natively. I'm trying to do your um, your Eric Cartman a hand puppet. Jennifer Lopez. I am Jennifer Axiki Lena. And I submit code to X or me gusta taco burritos incredible chat <laughs> taco taco flavor commits to my ass a healing mix excellent I, I i enjoy there is a deep deep sadistic pleasure that i get knowing that the people who hate me and who work very hard to try and fuck with my site live in this personal hell of their own design <laughs> get commit suicide <laughs> oh that's a good one <laughs> that's a good one 